The doctor told me uh, there is an umbilical cord around the boy, but it's not so tight. So he said it's proper if I keep going every after two days. 11 years ago, I lost my child, my firstborn daughter, to a tight umbilical cord during birth. It was a stillbirth. So when the doctor mentions the word umbilical cord right now, it's 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 not it's not something to be taken lightly, so that's why I'm going to the hospital because I can't have it happening again. I think it's important for Shine to have the same experience, if not even better, than what I had in hospital because I mean that's the least that I can do just so I'm sure that whoever mommy is, may her soul rest in peace. She knows we are doing everything we can for each other. Like we'll bicker all we bicker, but when it comes down to gutting each other as orphans, we gut each other. From my experience, I have a friend who almost died in theater. We've had women who go to give birth and they, they, they are not there. And myself going in and coming out without my child, it was a horror. But because I'm a Muchiga, and then I'm being strong for the doctor, for Tarema, they had told me, if you're not strong, things will not go well. You have to be strong, keep breathing, keep... Uh... So I go, and of course, Dr. Magara is just a tender man. He takes me through, he tells me, I'm going to give you an injection in your back. It won't be painful. I fear injections. Like, I see a needle, and this is it. But this time around, for Junior, I put my back like a robot. <laughs> Then I stopped feeling, but the baby, baby, the feeling, me holding Junior in my hands, and his heart is beating against mine. <laughs> hey. I feel like I'm holding my own life in my hands. It's priceless. I don't think, I don't think even the dictionary has the right words to explain that feeling. It just, it, it just has to happen to you for you to know how I'm feeling in the moment. Like eight months ever since we lost a Chris, but now, I'm very happy that we have another Chris in our family. Welcome to Kobe's family. I feel so proud of myself. It's like I'm the one who was carrying this child for nine months. I feel like finally we can see you, Christopher. I'm really so glad. I'm so glad. These are the choices we made and they've led us here. I'm really glad I had something to do with this. <laughs> can see me. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> 